So the 5D quantum awareness is an expanded awareness. It's a way of being. You still have your life. You still have the same body. You're still living. You're still eating. You still have your family. You still have to go to work. I'm not saying like all of a sudden as you're reaching this higher dimension, this expanded awareness that you disappear or your family disappears or your home disappears. No, it's what changes is your perception changes. You are beginning to see experience and get a feel of a bigger part of yourself, a higher part of yourself. And in that, the experience, it could be a lot smoother. And as the understanding increases, then you may, you probably will begin to see that in this re realization of the 5D quantum awareness, in this understanding, then what was making you unhappy? What created this idea of happiness? That happiness is based on getting what I want and everything's going my way. It starts to change and expansion happens. And the way it changes is that you begin to develop a sort of an attitude of losing, you know, you're expanding, right? In this expansion, as this expansion starts to happen, is also in the meantime, you begin to lose this sense of preference that I prefer things to be this way. It must be this way. And as you start losing that, it's like you're okay if things go this way too. So your personal preference or being stuck into something to be one way begins to dissolve into you are fine if things don't go your way. Things, whichever direction they go, you are perfectly okay with it. So if things go my way, I'm very happy. And if things don't go my way, I'm still very okay with it. because they're all decided by one intelligence. All of it is decided by that intelligence that's making the planet turn around itself. If that intelligence has the know-how of making a planet turn around itself and make my body function, and that intelligence been around for trillions of people coming to life and going, and it's been directing this, is it fair to think and believe that that intelligence knows more than one person called Zarathustra? Or I come and say, life sucks, life is horrible, all these horrible things happening all the time, and I know better. It shouldn't be this way, it should be that way. So, look at it this way. How would life be for you Okay, we're just going to come back to you again. What is life like if you don't really have an attachment on your preferences? You don't really prefer one thing to go this way or that way. 
you're okay with whichever direction things go. Can you suffer then? If you're not stuck and you're not set on things to be in a certain way, can you suffer after that? Would suffering be possible for you? Or you're only suffering when things, you suffer when things don't go your way, when you don't get what you want and what you think you deserve or how something should be and you don't get it. Then we throw a fit like a kid. We throw a tantrum because we didn't get what we wanted. Existence screwed up. Existence not fair enough. But as your awareness rising, your, your consciousness is shifting and you get to see the big picture and then you see, oh wow, okay, this didn't go my way because existence knows exactly what I need and I'm okay with it. then you all of a sudden may find yourself happy all, all of your life. Because you shifted. You didn't change the world. You didn't change the president of the U.S. You didn't change the climate. You didn't destroy the uh, corporations that are polluting the water, the air, you didn't find a cure for cancer. You didn't find a cure for the pandemic. You didn't do anything externally in the world. You just shifted something inside yourself and all of a sudden you're happy without changing anything in the world. You're not making more money. You don't look younger. You didn't lose weight. You didn't find a lover, your soulmate, but you're happy. Nothing changed in the external world. But everything's changed in your inner world by shifting your awareness to a higher frequency, to a, a higher dimension. And what was that? You don't have preference. You don't prefer this over that. You're okay with all of it. And all of a sudden life changes. And then you're happy. You're not angry anymore. You're not trying to fight for this and fight for that. 